H in a hard find Puff and their stuff. And Tommy, favored to win title of the Bunny Queen. And now, here are tonight's top stories. Because of the success of the 2007 big screen adaptation of Alvin and the Chipmunks, a sequel has been planned to introduce the Chipettes and is slated to premiere in theaters Christmas Day 2009. This should make Joe happy, considering he has like this soft spot for Jeanette, but he's concerned that they'll ruin her, quote, Golden personality, unquote. Whatever. Heath Ledger, Bo Diddley, George Carlin, Isaac Hayes, Bernie Mac, Paul Newman, that announcer guy who announces all the movies, and Eartha Kitt are a few of the celebrities who we lost this past year. You know, Joe said this was going to be a bad year for celebrities, but it couldn't have be, been too bad. I mean, after all, I'm still here. <laughs> She's possibly the most talked about person of the year 2008. She's Alaska Governor Sarah Palin, who was chosen as John McCain's presidential running mate. You know, Joe says he can do a pretty good impersonation of her, but all he does is just stand there and repeatedly wink his eye and say, betcha, 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 over and over and over again. Is that supposed to be funny? Huh. The Love Guru, starring, written and directed by Mike Myers, has been named the worst movie of all time. You know, Joe saw that movie this summer. He said it was pretty funny and that people should check it out. But then again, Joe's a big idiot, so what does he know? <laughs> Scrubs and Third Rock from the Sun are two of the shows that TV Land has added to their lineup this summer, even though they're not really classics, and Joe will not shut up about it. Suck it up, Joe! I mean, come on! It's obvious TV Land doesn't want to play classics anymore, just like Cartoon Network doesn't want to play cartoons anymore. Get over it! I mean, look, at least they added Hogan's Heroes to their lineup. That's a classic. I don't understand why you hate that show so much. There's plenty of people on there who wear those stupid wool caps that you wear. <sighs> Gas prices skyrocketed this summer, mostly thanks to the hurricanes that hit our nation like Gustav and Ike. Yes, during the summer, gas shot up as high as $5 a gallon. People were complaining about it. Joe was complaining about people complaining about it, saying, what good is complaining going to do? Well, now that gas prices have gone down to $1.45 a gallon, he ain't mouthing off so much now. And speaking of which, Gustav and Ike were two of the major hurricanes that hit us this summer. <laughs> Say, wouldn't it be funny if we just left Joe out on the beach while a hurricane swept by and when we went back to get him, <laughs> he'd probably look like a beached whale, wouldn't he? <laughs> uh, yeah. Sesame Street celebrated its 39th season this year. Only there's not really much to say about it, considering that Sesame Street now comes on at a very inconvenient time and we have no clue what's going on. Except for the fact that I'm told that there is a new Indian American character and Joe said something about Neil Patrick Harris guest starring as a shoe fairy. Okay. <clears throat> The 2008 Olympics were made in China this year. Huh? Oh, held in China. Held in China. I'm sorry. I, I thought that was made in China. <laughs> uh, 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 simple misunderstanding. Oh, and I have nothing to say about Joe this time, so. It was close. 
It was tense, but Barack Obama won the presidency this year, making him the 44th president of the United States of America when he is sworn in in January. You know, it's a good thing he won, because Joe kept talking about if John McCain won the election, he was going to desert the country and run into Canada so fast the Border Patrol wouldn't be able to catch up with him. Man, what is with that guy in Canada? Are there no flannel shirt wearing hockey fans down here who dunk donuts all the time that he can't associate with? I don't know about that guy. We are in the middle of what some are calling the worst recession in American history since the Depression. The government has been filing out bailouts for several people including the banks of America and the auto industry. Looks like just about everybody's getting money except the American people, as in the citizens. Uh, hey Joe, let's go to Canada after all, huh? The Muppets made a comeback this December with a brand new holiday special called Letters to Santa. And let me tell you, Joe said it's about time Disney kept a promise about the Muppets. But then again, like he should talk. He's been promising to take me to Dollywood ever since he first made me. That ain't ever happened. <laughs> well, those have been our top stories for tonight. When we come back, are the farms of the marsupial companies telling the truth about teenage rug abuse? More on that, as well as some insight from our special guest, a teenage rug who said he had been abused. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. Even though we don't have any sponsors, so, uh, hey, talk about your limited commercial interruptions, huh? <laughs> the opinions expressed in this editorial are not necessarily those of Cartoon Network or its affiliates.